This is my keto vegetarian pancake and I've used cucumbers to make that. Let me try a piece. I know that a lot of people have never eaten this but where I belong to we do make these kind of pancakes but I've made a keto version today. Mmm. Delicious. Stay tuned till the end I'm going to tell you how to make the non-vegetarian version or the one with egg. Hi guys I'm Sonal and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share the recipe of a cucumber pancake with you and there's a lot of people in India who eat vegetarian food and still follow keto and that's the reason I'm trying to make this recipe vegetarian. This has a wonderful flavor that you guys may not even imagine because if you've never eaten cucumbers in anything that is cooked this is going to be a surprise for you. It's got this fresh a uh, flavor from the cucumber and it still is a warm dish so definitely try this recipe out so let's go ahead and see how i make this so i've grated two cucumbers and i've put some salt and let them sit in that for about half an hour and all the water will come out now you want to squeeze out all this water so that you get the dry pieces of cucumber you and this comes to about 112 grams and to which I'm adding two and a half tablespoons of almond flour three tablespoons of cheddar cheese grated one green chili you can use a non spicy variety mine is pretty spicy little bit of salt for the rest of the ingredients because we've already salted the cucumber and one tablespoon or more of coriander leaves now i'm mixing all of this up and i have added 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of psyllium husk now you guys always wonder whether this is required it is because that is what holds the dough together otherwise everything is going to fall apart now after resting it for about 10 minutes i have taken a cast iron pan on which i'm going to put the whole of the dough you can make it in two batches but then by the time you're making the second one your pan is going to be hot so i always try to take a pan big enough so that i can fit the whole dough in that now i'm patting it into a pancake and i've also added some olive oil here i'm adding some ghee to it on top the places where i've added the ghee i'm poking holes so that the ghee can go down this pancake will take some time to sort of set because your cheese will melt and then it'll kind of hold the rest of the ingredients together you want to give it some time on the pan so that the cheese melts and still comes back together if you try to flip it too early it's going to break it takes about 1 and 1/2 minute to sort of cook and hold together that's when you want to flip it you will get the hang of it you want to keep adding ghee when you're cooking it so i'm adding some more of it i want to tell you the variation using egg so if you add an egg to this the taste is going to be slightly different and uh, it's going to be sort of uh, crisp so that is a good version too this is the vegetarian one if you want to add an egg you beat an egg and add about half an egg to this batter and you skip the psyllium husk this if you want you can still add a little bit of the psyllium husk but you probably won't need any of it um and then you sort of pat it or you can even pour it and flatten it with your spoon so towards the end it's going to hold together so i'm flipping it so that i make sure that all of it is completely cooked if you cool it down completely it's going to get more crisp and i'm going to serve this with a chutney so i have the recipe on the screen you can pause it and check it out or it's in the description too you're going to love this try this out if you do try it out let me know in the comments section um and also follow me on my social media handle you can send me pictures of the dish that you cook i've also started updating my marathi channel so if you follow marathi follow me at marathi girl sonal and uh, there is information about diabetes and health which will hopefully be interesting to you and thanks for watching bye